It might look like another grass cutting get together, but look closely. That's Bermuda grass, the scourge of the manicured lawn set. But it's also known as hay, being harvested at Bush Intercontinental Airport. Okay. Richard Baycar, director of the Houston Airport System, yeah. had the vision for this field of dreams. Part of the reason we've initiated the hay program is for a larger sort of problem, and that is to try to reduce the dependence the airport system has on purely airline and passenger revenues. So this is one of a number of programs we hope to implement over time that will give us additional revenues that uh, aren't dependent on just activities at the airport. 1,200 acres are being groomed and prepared for a hybrid version of the Bermuda. The hybrid is known as Tipton 85, a high-quality hay that's suitable for the more delicate horse diet. Tom Bartlett, second in command of the Houston Airport System, oversees the project. We hired a uh, kind of so for land management. We hired a gentleman out of uh, Texas A&M University to to kind of work with us because we know nothing about it. We know how to run airports, but we don't know how to farm. So uh, we we contracted him to help us, and he's uh, apparently uh, known throughout the state for his expertise with hay uh, growing. So we have him, and he was our is our, is our consultant on the land management. Research shows minimal impact on wildlife and frequent cuttings will reduce rodent populations. Bermuda has no seeds, so birds shouldn't be attracted. That's an added safety measure. A private contractor is responsible for cutting, rolling, drying, and toting the hay off to market. But the Houston Airport system will make money from the proceeds. Uh, we'll probably get a uh, revenue of twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars just on this first cutting and it's not a high quality hay this first cutting and that's why it's going to be uh, geared to uh, more of the cattle cows than horses we want to get a high quality bermuda hay and and go for with the, the uh, horse market because that brings a little bit more revenue per bale with a drought in texas and a hay shortage making life miserable for some ranchers this crop couldn't come at a better time we now know the answer to the question if you grow it, will it sell? Well, the problem in Texas uh, is they go through these uh, drought cycles, and I've been told by the experts at A&M that we're probably five years into a 15-year type drought cycle. And so hay has uh, been sort of uh, at a premium in terms of prices because it's not available. And in fact, even for our own personal use sometimes, before we started developing it on our own property, uh, we were having a hard time finding it, and sometimes for several weeks at a time. So it, this will add, uh, you know, I say, product to... Uh, to, you know, it's an area that really kind of needs it right now.